Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is a quadruple problem submitted by Virtual. Um, I think I mentioned a Virtual at one point. I need more. I need to do some quadruple problems, and then before I blinked, he'd submitted. I think it was. It might have been four or five. Um, and I think he's still creating because virtual is awesome that way. But anyway, let's less about virtual, more about the problem. The goal on this one is to put digits in the cells marked with an X. Um, you don't need to worry about any of the other locations. I've been getting some feedback on that one. It's like there's inconsistencies on cell, other cells. It's like, uh-huh, the only thing you need to do is place digits in cells marked with an X. The way quadruple clues work is that um, the... Um, numbers in the circles must be placed at least once in the cells around. So you have to place a, th a three will have to be placed somewhere around this quadruple clue. A two will have to be placed somewhere around this quadruple clue. That's the way quadruples work. There'll be a link to the problem below um, where you can give this one a try for yourself. Um, feel free to pause the video and I will be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, that seemed like a few seconds. So what we need to do, um, or the way I approached this one, um, I wasn't given a specific path, is I basically started off by pencil marking these. We need to put one, two, and three in here, and we can't put them where there's already an eight. So we put one, two, three in here. Around here, we need to put one, two, and four, and we can't put it there, so we put in one, two, four. Now we've now got a one, two, three, four quad in box two, but we can't put a three here. So the three has to go here, which means this is not a three. The four has to go here, which means this is not a four. And now we've got a one, two pair in the row. So we can take one and two out of those. This becomes the three, this becomes the four, and we can take the three out of here and the four out of here. Whoops, out of here. Got to push the right buttons. So that works quite well. Now this three, if you look at this quad, it sees all of those three cells. It sees those two in the box and that one in the column and it sees that one in both. So this has to become the three. Um, once this becomes the three, we can use this four to look down at this clue and see that this can't be a four anymore because it's got a three in it and those can't be a four because they see a four. So this becomes a four. Now we need to put a two into one of these two and a two having to go in here to fulfill this quad means that can't be a two. This becomes the one, this becomes the two. I still need to put a one around that quadruple and this becomes a two by Sudoku logic. And that finishes this quadruple problem. Some very nice quadruple logic in this one. Um, nothing too advanced, but very, very cool flow. I really like this problem. Um, thank you, Virtual, for submitting it. I hope you were able to work through way through that one fairly easily. Um, if not, then yeah, that's what they're for, helping you learn. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying the channel and all of the other content here. And as always, good luck with your solving.